Well, Bay Area native John Madden is going to be remembered in a public memorial tomorrow in Oakland. And there are so many ways in which he will be remembered. As the Hall of Fame coach who led the Raiders to 10 winning seasons and to the team's first Super Bowl title in 1977, he will be remembered as a legendary broadcaster whose approach and on-air persona changed sports broadcasting and made us all feel like he was an old friend. And for the newest generation, Madden was a part of so many childhoods through his EA video game. And here to talk about Coach Madden and his legacy is his son, Mike Madden, who joins us now live on Mornings on 2. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. I mean, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I have to think this was a special day for your dad. He's quoted as saying that's the ultimate, winning the Super Bowl. Uh, do you think of him on, on this day and what he would be doing, what he's done so many, so many Sundays? He worked a lot of Sundays, I would imagine. Worked a lot of Sundays, worked a lot of Thanksgivings. Um, it's kind of neat. I'm down in Los Angeles right now. I'm attending the game today. And he his Super Bowl victory was in Southern California. It was it was in the, the Rose Bowl, mm -hmm. uh, Super Bowl 11, where they played the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, today's obviously the today's games in a, in a in SoFi Stadium. But uh, but his was in the Rose Bowl, but it was a Southern California Super Bowl. So there is a little bit of um, the Looking back, there, and, yes. Yes, exactly. You know, he's also quoted. There's so many quotes from your dad, but he says, "If someone remembers me as a coach, they still call me coach. But if they know me for the video game, they just call me Madden." You know, in Pleasanton, I think people they say just called him John, <laughs> and and he was known around town. For you, it's it's I'm sure dad or or how do you remember him in your space that is so special to you? I mean, he had this big public persona, but but for you, it's family. Yeah, well, he's, he was my dad, obviously, and I've got all those memories. Um, as I, again, I'm down here amongst the, the football community here at the Super Bowl, and it's really been uh, just the way that I've been kind of greeted around town the last few days. Uh, everybody's got a story. Everybody's got a connection, and, and, and it's just, you know, it's really heartwarming, and, and uh, it makes me miss them all the more, you know, the way people come up and and remind me of, you know, oh, your dad, you know, told me this one day or there was a big day and, and your dad helped me through that. And he was he was just so generous to so many. Um, it's just it's been a it's been overwhelming, um, you know, just the sentiments that have come back to me, you know, just in the last couple of days. What was it like growing up with a dad bigger than life than you had? I mean, sometimes that can be uh, a, a lot for a kid to take, and even as you grow into an adult, I mean, I know you you coached Foothill, right, the freshman football team, and he was yeah. there <laughs> watching you you coach as well. You know, I mean, it, when you think back to, you know, I, I think his superpower, right, was how he felt like everyone's friend, and it didn't matter that he had this huge career in this huge, you know, in broadcasting and in coaching. You felt like, you know, you could have a beer with a guy and, and just hang out. For you, what do people not know in terms of how special of a man your dad was? Well, I used to say, you know, he was the only dad I ever had. So <laughs> I didn't know what to compare it to. Um, now that he's gone, you know, I'll admit that growing up in the 70s as a football player myself who loved the game, uh, being in the Oakland Coliseum floor on Saturday mornings for the Saturday practice, um, you know, being in the Oakland Coliseum for the games on Sunday, the locker room, and just having access to some of the greatest players to have ever played football. It, it was a, it was a pretty cool thing, but I, I couldn't admit that before. But now <laughs> no, that we can't admit it. Right. <laughs> exactly. I can't, you know, I can't, Oh, it's awesome, man. But, um, but now that he's gone, I can admit it. And it was, it was pretty special growing up uh, in that environment. Talk about the Bay Area community. I mean, certainly the tributes come from all over. You know, they're, they're from the sports world. They're from the coaching world. They're from teams and players all over. But this, this was home to him, the Bay Area. And, you know, this memorial that will be held tomorrow, and I know you're speaking at the memorial, there is something about the Bay Area that I think holds your dad tighter um, and closer than, than other places. Yeah, well, he grew up in Daly City, and, and his memories of – of top of the hill and the fog and Daly City and Jefferson High School, uh, caddying at San Francisco Golf Club, uh, sneaking into Seal Stadium, sneaking into the Civic Auditorium to watch Sugar Ray Robinson fight. So he was, you know, he was a, a Peninsula guy growing up, and then uh, he went away just for a few years to Cal Poly. He coached down at San Diego State, and then he came back to the East Bay, where he's been 
ever since. So yeah, he's he's been Bay Area since he was three or four years old, uh, both sides of the Bay. And uh, yeah, the Bay Area, you know, he's a Bay Area guy. There's no arguing that. Okay, so what what didn't do people not know? Because we feel like we know a lot. We know about the Madden Cruiser. We know it doesn't like heights. We know he was claustrophobic. What were the little things that that you hope people remember as well? Because it's the big and and the little when we look back on someone's life and legacy. It's like I said. It's kind of again. This is what this is what's fresh in my mind because I'm down here amongst the football world. But but he touched so many. You know, there are just and and different different people from different corners of the football world and. And, you know, he meant a lot to so many. And, and like I said, I've been pulled, pulled aside this week. You know, your dad once told me this, you know, we had a cup of coffee. We had a phone call. And, um, you know, and he was genuine and he cared about everybody. He cared about the game of football. So when, when coaches would talk to him, he would want to help them and improve the game. And the players, you know, right up until the end, he was working to make the game safer. Uh, he had a safety panel, you know, just, just the last couple of years. Um, you know, people well, he like always Ronnie. Grew, Ott. Right? He always grew from coach to broadcaster yeah. to everything. He was always growing, and, and the health panel uh, shows that growth as well. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Ronnie Lott told me that he says the things about your dad, the things that he was able to do just in the last 10 years when he was out of the public eye, the things that he did to make the game safer for the players, uh, that stuff will never be written or, or never be talked about. But, but the, 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 the things that he's added to the game, uh, you know, are worthy of, of the you know, recognition and a career. But his his other careers were so big, you know, that'll never get mentioned. Well, we mentioned it now and we are glad to mention it and glad to remember so many different uh, parts of your father's life. So many ways that he bound so many generations, even kids now to have that name recognition from back in the 70s to now is really a remarkable thing. Uh, we are. We send our deepest condolences for your loss. We we appreciate so much that you uh, came here on Mornings On to talk about your dad. We look forward to hearing what you have to say at the memorial tomorrow. Um, but your loss is so many others' loss as well, and the legacy is bright and shining. And we'll be talking about him with smiles for decades to come. So thank you for joining well, us. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And John Madden's memorial will be tomorrow at 530 oh, at the you. Oakland Coliseum. Tickets are available online and proceeds will benefit the Madden Foundation, which focuses on education for children in Oakland. And we will have special coverage of that event tomorrow. Mm.